Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fallon and today I'm going to be trying out four different fabric scissors so you don't have to. So let's take a closer look at them. Okay, so which pair of scissors stands out to you right away? Definitely the Tula Pink. My eye always goes to that one because of the fun colors. It just makes me want to put them in my hands and use them. I am not really a brand girl when it comes to anything. I've actually been using a pair of Fiskars for the last three or four years. I keep a little ribbon tied to them to remind me that they are my fabric scissors and they've only been used on fabric and they actually still work pretty well. They're starting to dull down a little bit. I can kind of notice a difference um, if I'm trying to clip really close to the edge of something and don't want to cut through threads. The tips really aren't that sharp anymore. Um, but if I'm just doing basic cutting, they still work really well actually. Um, especially for being such a great price. Um, the other pair of scissors that I have that I use a lot is a pair of um, Ginger scissors. Uh, these, you can see, don't have that curve that comes down um, that you can see really defined on this Kai scissors so that your fabric's flat and you, you can kind of try to cut it without lifting it up too much. Um, my husband actually got me these for cutting through leather and heavier fabrics when I started doing handbags more. I actually didn't even know that they were the Ginger brand at first until I was researching popular fabric scissors to do this video. Came across this pair, I remember people um, telling me what a great brand this is when I got a um, smaller pair of um, more decorative scissors over Christmas from them. And then I was like, oh, well, it looks like a pair I have. And then I realized that I already had some, just not the same style. Um, so anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I'm not the best at storing these really nicely. I kind of have this, um, this, it's it's an old timey like uh, for um, I think it was for candle making that I found at a thrift store that I throw these in so not really the greatest for tips I'm thinking I'm gonna make a little um, cover for the blades out of leather so I can kind of um, store them more safely and make them last a little longer uh, but you know um, these work really well they th they cut through leather beautifully. I don't really use them on cotton fabrics that much, so I can't really um, speak to that. But through leather, heavy vinyl, stuff like that, they cut like a breeze. So let's take a look at the scissors I have here. They're all brand new, so I can kind of compare them a little bit better than using my, um, my personal Fisker pair that I've had for at least two years, probably longer. Um, so I purchased these for $8.97 on Amazon. The Tula Pink, um, I purchased these for $27.26 on Amazon. The Ginger, I actually found on sale on Amazon for $22.33. They are originally $48.99, so I got a really good deal on these. Um, I'm going to put links to these in the description they are still on sale. Uh, lucky you as well because whew, I was happy to see that. Now these um, Kai, I believe I'm pronouncing it right, scissor, the Kai scissors are $62.95. So what I'm going to be doing to try to compare these is I'm going to one be cutting some fabric of course and then I'm going to be talking about the comfort, how they feel in my hands, how they feel, um, you know, the curve trying to cut with the fabric flat and then I'm going to weigh them all to kind of see that because if you are going to be cutting a lot with them, I tend to, for quilting, use a rotary cutter a lot, but when I am cutting for bags, um, if you do like a lot of, um, you know, a pattern cutting for clothing and stuff, you might be cutting for a long period. So 
the weight might be important to you because the heavier it is, I'm guessing the faster your hand arm might, might um, tire out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut, talk about the comfort, how they feel in my hand and the weight, and then I'll let you know at the end what I thought overall. So let's start opening these because I'm not gonna be able to cut with them with them being in the packaging. All right, so I have some fabric here that is going to be sacrificed in the name of science. Um, you can see I have all the sections labeled with what pair of scissors I'm gonna use there. So I'm gonna do, with each pair, I'm gonna do just a straight cut down the fabric. And then I drew some lines that I'm gonna try to follow for curve, kind of mimicking if I'm cutting out a pattern to see if it's pretty easy to maneuver them. Um, if you saw when I opened the box for the Ginger scissors, I did not know it came with a cover for the blade. So that's kind of nice touch with those just to point out. So I'm gonna move all of the scissors to the side except for the Fiskars because I'm gonna just go in order. And I'm going to just do the straight cut down the fabric. These definitely cut a lot nicer than my well-loved and used pair of um, Fiskars. So let me just see if I'm thinking, I mean, these still actually cut. I can, I can hear the blade a little bit more cutting through the, the fabric with these because they've been used, but they're still cutting pretty cleanly after having them you know, as long as I have. Um, the feeling wise, I like the way my thumb feels in these. I like the curve here and how my thumb just fits really nicely there. But for my hand, I like having all four fingers in the slot here and it is pretty tight. It's always been like that on my other pair as well. Um, but if I was cutting for a long period, which I don't really do with scissors that much, I use a rotary blade the most um, I think it could it could tire out after a while so let's try the curve now since the blades not too long I feel like with these it is easy to maneuver around corners Kind of just weird cutting <laughs> just cutting while filming so I'm and you know these are scissors that I've used for a while so I'm just comfortable with them I enjoy them I like they don't feel bad in my hand I like I said I would like a little more space through here but maybe if I was comfortable just keeping one thumb out then it would be or with the one, my pinky finger out, then maybe it would be fine. I don't know, it just feels weird doing that. I feel like I need to have them all in. Um, let me just see with my old pair, if I can kind of show you, uh, see, it's really not that bad, the tip. I mean, it's it's. I can definitely feel that it's not as sharp as it should be. And you can see, I think because I throw it just in that, that box, like it gets a lot of gunk on me and because I don't keep it in the same one all the time, so it ends up, you know, with pins and stuff down there with it. It really isn't the best way to store them. I should really figure out something else, but habit, you know. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at the Tula Pink now. They're just so pretty. See, this is even tighter for me. I, um, and it's not as wide here, so it doesn't feel as comfortable and there the thumb slot's not as comfortable. It doesn't have that nice curve through here. Um, it's it's similar to my Ginger that I use for, um, that I've used for a while for um, cutting leather and stuff. So I don't think it's awful. I'm still used to having this type of scissor. Um, but comfort wise, 
the Fiskars feels better on my hand. But these are just so pretty, right? <laughs> All right. So they cut beautifully. I wouldn't say there's a significant difference between how these are cutting and the Fiskars. Um, so, you know, I think it's kind of similar there. So these were 27, 26 compared to the 897. The one thing I would say though is, you know, that you would also want to think about is maybe the sharpness would last longer. For me, I don't think two years is that bad for a pair of scissors um, to last and still have a pretty good sharpness to them where they still cut pretty cleanly through fabric. But if you really want a um, pretty pair, these cut really nicely. I think they take curves really well and I feel like the point, the end down here is probably a tad more precise and sharper than the Fiskars. Um, and I think that's because this comes to such a nice point here. I don't know if you can see, but it's a really sharp point there at the end compared to the Fiskars that are a little more rounded at the end. So I think that sharp point might be getting that nice, that nice cut close to the end would be really nice for me in bag making when I'm turning um, the pocket windows. It's really hard to get really close to the thread without snipping through and this pair might do that for me. I really like these. I feel like the handle could be a little more comfortable, um, but they cut really nicely. So let's take a look at the Ginger scissors. I hope I'm saying that right now because I know I said it wrong at one point and um, everyone let me know <laughs> in the comments. Um, so they're just a really basic looking scissors. They actually fit my hand very similar to the Tula Pink on it not being as comfortable in the thumb area. But I think I have a tad more room here at the bottom for my fing four fingers to sit. Not quite as much as I would like for it to be super comfortable, but it feels less tight than the Tula Pink scissors. Let's see. I think it's just a tad, just a tad, tad bigger there. Um, so let's take a look. They seem to be very sharp as well. They cut very nicely. The tip does not seem to have as precise of a cut, a clean cut as the um, Tula Pink does. It still does have that sharp point at the end though. So I don't know what might be slightly different between the two that the Tula Pink seems to get just a slightly, I mean, it does seem to have come to a little more, this, I don't know if you can see this has more of a dulled tip. It looks like it's really sharp, but I think the Tula Pink is a tad sharper on the end. I don't know if you can quite see that. Hopefully you can, but I can definitely feel the sharpness, the more precise snip at the end of the cut with the Tula Pink than with this one. They all seem to handle the curves the same. You know, I think if it's just a sharp, nice cut, handling the curves is going to kind of be similar with each. So there are, this is the Kinger scissors. This poor fabric. <laughs> oh, if you remember, I got this in my, um, my cotton cuts advent uh, for fat quarters. I got a fat quarter every day in December. And um, yeah, it just wasn't one I loved. I didn't know for sure what I would do with it. And I guess I found a way to use it. I will probably keep all these little scraps because I could cut pretty nice sized squares out and some of them for a scrappy quilt, but um, 
So here are the Kai scissors. A lot of room down here where my four fingers sit in the bottom of the scissors. Um, and the thumb area is nice. It has a little more um, curve to it, so my thumb feels a little more comfortable in it. And um, they feel like a nice pair of scissors that I wouldn't mind holding them for a bit the way my fingers fit in them. Uh, I do like how sharp this curve down is compared to a lot of the other scissors. I think I'm gonna be able to get a lot more flat on the fabric to cut, which would make it a lot easier for precise um, uh, template cutting. So we'll see. It's definitely um, looks like I'd be able to get more flat down on the fabric than any of the others, just so you can see as a comparison. All right. I really do like the way these feel in my hand. Ooh, these cut through the fabric like butter. I have never thought that I would see such a nice difference in these more expensive scissors. I'm just like, I've had the Fiskars forever and um, that's what I've purchased in the past when I've sewn a lot and I've always been fine with them, but the cut through here is really nice. I They glide through really nicely. I don't know if you can see, like there's a few little jagged marks in some of the other sections um, where the the it, where the scissors didn't cut quite as smoothly. You can really see it more over here. Um, but these these definitely cut through very smooth. And it's interesting because I feel like the final cut where I go all the way to the tip was very nice and sharp um, without having that really deep point on them like I thought might be helping with the tulip pink. So that's really interesting to me. So let's do the curve here. I honestly did not think I would love these scissors as much as I did just because of the price point. Um, so I guess I should have listened to a lot of you that were like, no, those, this brand, the Kai brand is really a great scissors. I don't remember what I got. Oh, it was the little rotary cutter from Kai that some of you were like, oh, that's such a good brand and their scissors are awesome and you guys did not lie. These are really nice. I never thought I would say that. Um, thank you Fallon for coming up with this video idea because I'm gonna be using these a lot. Y'all, they cut really nice. <laughs> I really thought I would be like, no. They're not that much different from the Fiskars to warrant the price. Um, but these are really nice and they really fit my hand nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna weigh them all and we'll see what the weight is on them just to see if that might be a factor that's important. So I have my little kitchen scale here and it's well loved because um, I use it quite often for weighing uh, flour for making homemade pasta. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna do grams because I can't imagine these weigh a whole ton where um, where I can really go up. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll go between. So the Fiskars are 74 grams. Let's change the unit to something we may be more familiar with. So 2.6 ounces. So not too heavy at all. Let's put it back to grams. These are definitely heavier now that I'm thinking about it. So 100, 
and 76 grams, 6.2 ounces. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough because sometimes when I'm thinking and writing, um, my brain doesn't, but doesn't like me to do both sometimes. <laughs> So these are a tad lighter than the Tula Pink, which I was kind of surprised about, but this does have this really large like bolt, but I don't know anything about hardware on the end. So, um, so 174 grams, I'm writing it down so I can put it down in the description of this video too, if you, if anyone wants to refer back to it. So 6.2 ounces. And then the last pair, which I would imagine since they're so much bigger, might weigh the most. So actually a tad less than the Ginger and the Tula Pink. And then six ounces. So just 0.2 ounces less than the other two. Kind of interesting. In comparison though, the Fiskars are super light. I'm guessing because only the blades are the metal it's all metal on all these and this is a plastic. So for a longer cutting, this might be the way to go because they're so much lighter than the others. Um, just something to think about. Just something to think about. All right, so let's get into my final thoughts. So what did you think? Um, I know if you've been following me a while, I've talked a lot in the past about you know, um, doing unboxings that it's not a big deal to me on the brands and stuff, you know, that I'm happy with just the, my Walmart scissors. Um, and overall I am, um, they're a good sturdy pair of scissors. I've had this pair for quite a while. I know at least two years. Um, and I, I could have had them longer, I'm just thinking when I when I really got back into quilting where I've been doing it a lot lot more. Um, I think that is when I when I went ahead and purchased these. Um, but they've been a good pair of scissors for me. And even after doing all these comparisons, I would still recommend these for somebody starting out because you know they're very very easy on the pocketbook at just you know, basically around $9. They're a good pair of scissors. Two years is a good long time to have been using these scissors and them still cut really well on fabric. Um, I, I really like them and they've worked really well for me. They still cut really well. Now I will say I don't ever use them on anything but fabric. I don't use them on paper. I've never cut paper with them. The only thing I've ever cut with these is fabric and thread. Um, so keep that in mind. I did like the way both of these cut through fabric. Um, would I recommend either of these over the Fiskars? I don't think so. They aren't a bad price. Um, the Ginger I got on sale for, what was it, 22 yeah, $22. I definitely would not pay the full 48 for them in comparison with the Fiskars. I think that's way too much to spend on them um, for them being, in my opinion, very similar in the way they cut. Could they last longer? Possibly. Um, but I kind of feel like they'd probably dole down at the same rate. So um, that's just my opinion. The Tula Pink, if you really want a very pretty pair of scissors, they cut really well. And um, I think they were 20, yeah, 27, 26. So not too much for them. Um, I really think the tip uh, cuts more precisely than my Fiskars. So if you're doing something with very precise cuts, this might be the way you wanna go um, instead of the Fiskars if you're looking for a new pair of scissors. Now, this pair, I it seriously hurts my soul to say that I wish I had purchased them sooner. They are a very, very nice pair of scissors. They fit really well in my hand. I don't have super small, dainty hands, um, so they're super comfortable because it has a bigger area for my fingers to sit. Um, I like the way how I can get really flat on my cutting mat or whatever surface I'm cutting on and cut. 
Um, the curve is really nice on them. I think that will help me um, with some of my template cutting a little bit more. And they are very, very sharp, noticeably more sharp than my Fiskars and especially getting at the point as well. Um, I would recommend them to somebody who knows for sure that they're going to be doing stuff with fabric a lot, a lot of, um, you know, cutting out template pieces like for um, bag making or a lot of cutting for maybe applique for quilts or anything else. Um, you know, if you're just going to be doing a lot of rotary cutting, I don't know that making such a big purchase like this one for a pair of scissors would make a lot of sense because you may not be using them as much, but if you're going to be doing a lot of template cutting that you can't do with a rotary cutter or for um, clothing or anything like that, then definitely maybe think about it, especially if it's in your budget. I would probably purchase these over Fiskars knowing how much I cut fabric outside of just a rotary cutter just because of how sharply they cut how precise they i think they're going to cut in comparison to my fiskers but budget wise these are a great pair so these two are definitely the winners for me today this one on price and how well they cut and then this one on sharpness preciseness and overall feel of the handle so if you've used any of these, all of these, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I was really surprised. I went in for sure thinking I was going to stick with my trusty Fiskars. So there you go. I broadened my horizons a little bit. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I'd love to see you again in the next video. And I am excited to hear from you guys in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.